can to hold that door in, Madeline, and you all get all your, your might behind that. On Monday, August 24th at 4.55 a.m., Hurricane Andrew came ashore in South Dade County with winds over 160 miles per hour. Later that morning, a skeleton crew of rider employees began the process of providing emergency aid to fellow employees and the community. By the next day, the relief effort was in full swing. This is the story of rider people helping their co-workers and their community. I'm sure it's we'll a get list back to, to see what kind of volunteer more. work you want to do. We should yeah. get back up to our yeah. And, and what you days you'll be available list, for it. We'll give you a call. Some cereal, uh, some spread stuff, some apple juice. Rider customers, suppliers, dealers, and fellow employees sent over 500,000 pounds of ice, over 750,000 gallons of drinking water, more than 10 tons of food, and clothing for hundreds of families who lost everything they had but the shirts on their backs. Most of all, they also sent their love and support. The day after the storm hit, Ryder employee volunteer work teams were already bringing food, water, and supplies to fellow employees' homes. While they were there, they made roofs watertight, propped up drooping ceilings, and lifted spirits. Uh, we're five. All right, we'll give you a couple more gallons. Appreciate it, guys. Has nothing. He has a trailer. What do you, you know, he lost a trailer, and they're at my home too. Oh, so. A lot of our food and ice and water have been coming from Carolina and out outside of the state because they're they they remember. The devastation is significant. Some of you personally have been affected with this. Some of you very significantly, and and we know that, and we're sympathetic and are are sympathetic. Your place? My place. I've got some. Um, Damage to my house. My daughter's is totally devastated, so I've got her and her family over by my house. But we're all pulling together. There's uh, a lot to be done. This effort here also is primarily for rider employees, but we're also doing an effort with United Way, Red Cross, Salvation Army, and everything else. So here's our list. There's some stuff coming in today, tomorrow too. All right. Yeah. Look at if you want to just take a look at the list. We got uh, Dawson RTR out of Tampa, food and clothing. Uh, another one uh, out of Tampa, food and clothing, uh, Cheryl Tecton, uh, three trucks for the homeless, uh, Freightliner from uh, uh, sending three air-conditioned trailers, Red Logan, RTR, Charleston, food and clothing, Janice Woods, Indy, food, water, money, Dave uh, from RTR, Atlanta, water, dry goods, building materials, White Volvo, Mike McCulgan, is uh, sending water, baby food, insulin for hospital. We got uh, customers sending it in, our own people sending in, and you know, of course individual people across the United States are calling up and sending stuff in. So it's really good. We've got a whole we've got we a whole townhouse anything. complex, and they've all lost their roofs. None of them got the food. None of them got nothing. Completely demolished. Yeah. We live help right. Being able to come here to get this. Oh, oh God. my God. Yeah, a lifesaver. I went to the store. Also, in addition to all the stuff that's going on at Ryder, we've got uh, 20 teams of six people who are down redoing roofs down in uh, oh, uh, Cutler Ridge and Ryder all through there. We see hot lines set up that rings right here in the sea lobby. The rental systems group has been manning that for the last 72 hours, and we've got over 60 trucks in our inventory right now that are all out to either employees or the United Way and some police organizations. Uh, we've got another 60 trucks coming in from all up and down the East Coast. People are calling from all the districts in the country, volunteering trucks, supplies, anything that uh, they think we need. We're talking about a hurricane here that did not strike the heart of Miami, did not strike the heart of, uh, of uh, Fort Lauderdale, and did not strike New Orleans, for instance. It came close to both. And still we're looking at damage of the order of $20, $20 billion. Just to let you know the kind of damage that Andrew did, the damage caused by the past 10 most destructive hurricanes does not equal the damage done by Hurricane Andrew. Ryder provided hundreds of trucks free of charge to the Red Cross, United Way, Salvation Army, and countless other emergency relief organizations so they in turn could help the victims of the storm. I think it's great. They they uh, advertised on the TV this morning that they were helping their employees too. So some of the people that we hadn't had uh, the opportunity to get in touch with because their phones are out, 
saw that ad and uh, started calling in. So it... Attention all rider employees. Corporate headquarters is open and ready to provide you emergency assistance. Water, ice, food, clothing, and the use of trucks. The Rider Credit Union is open for emergency cash and loans. Your paychecks are available, and direct deposit pay has been credited. Headquarters employees whose personal situation will allow, please report to work at your usual time. Call 593-3726 for further assistance or information. Let us help. The Rider Hotline began operating on the Tuesday following the storm. One week later, the hotline had received over 5,000 calls from Rider employees needing food, water, a roof over their heads, or sometimes just a familiar voice to talk to. We had seven people that were um, here throughout the storm that waited too late to evacuate and find alternative shelter. And they came in and um, you know, set up cots on the floor and stuff like that and spent the night. They are a lot of Rider trucks been coming down here bringing the where the individuals have them, I don't know where they got them, but they, they've been a real ministry in this project. You're bringing this in and you don't work for Ryder. My family's out of town, they're safe. Yeah, I'm just saying, but if you don't work for Ryder, what gets here? Oh, I know these people, these are wonderful people. Look what they did to the, uh, for uh, the uh, uh, trauma center. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. these, are, these are people that give all the time. Yeah. And uh, they got a lot of people in trouble. In the case of Andrew, we had uh, to pull 21 of our employees away from their families in the middle of this disaster and send them up to New Jersey to uh, bring a system up and, and hope that we would continue the operation from our disaster recovery site. That was up and running in approximately 30 hours. It was a tremendous success. The team did a great job under the pressures both from the corporation and their own family. The Rider System Federal Credit Union opened the morning after the hurricane, providing check cashing, financial advice, and interest-free loans. The Rider Emergency Relief Fund was established to provide grants to those employees who needed financial support for the day-to-day -day necessities. Some people don't have insurance, and some people that we moved into a place to live do not have the ability to be able to service that, that, that rent. See, uh, and that's it's important, above. too. If that's the best housing that we can, you know, appropriate housing for them, the relief fund can bridge the difference of that. That's important. At least for a temporary. Yeah. And I got, I got calls from two um, realtors who have some places, and I'll, and I'll give you those phone numbers. Okay. I'll give it to you for and um, the other status is we had, what, 105 as of this morning. We've probably right. gotten a dozen calls. Right. We've got added up. So, yeah. So I think what's happening is people are now coming to work and finding out that we're doing housing. And probably coming to the realization right. that they and cannot stay there. They need to. They've yeah. got to get out. Ryder's law department was given the task of finding housing for Ryder families who had their homes destroyed by Hurricane Andrew. 163 families were relocated to new homes in the two weeks following the storm. You came with the right kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we made the roofing materials. We really do. Great. We really appreciate your experience. Whenever doing this. This is great. You know, the disaster all happened, you know, they tried, you know, couldn't get a hold of you for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever they did get through to you, well, you know. Yeah. They called us, you know, and everybody, you know, they don't mind helping you. That's, yeah. that's the way everybody is, you know. Yeah. If, if they need help, they're proud to do it. Certainly appreciate you volunteering yeah, you're and uh, doing that. That's yeah. really a great effort on your part. And tell all the guys back at, uh, at St. Louis and Cape Girardeau how much we appreciate it. Sure will. We're going to offer to the uh, various organizations uh, as donations so they can use them to transport the uh, needy people to the food and the lodging areas. Uh, we're going to give some of the buses to uh, United Way, some of them are going to go into the We Will Rebuild program, and then some will go to Homestead to be used to transport uh, some of the folks down there. Uh, it's a true picture of how part-time school bus drivers really view Ryder as, as a family organization and they're part of the team. A lot of times people think the part-time employees don't feel part of the company, and, and I can tell you without a question, many of our drivers feel very critical part of this company and, and this was one way that they could demonstrate uh, their contribution to the company and they're very proud of being able to do that. We're putting together today a convoy of 20 trucks that's going into the Homestead Air Force Base for the dependents that are being relocated throughout the country. We're convoying today 20 units today and
like 20 units tomorrow. These individuals are being given uh, transfers to bases all over the country. The police uh, support from the Metro Dade County here are giving us an escort into there. So this will be a total of 40 units in two days, and we realize too that we had great support from the dealer organization throughout the state to help us in putting this together. Homestead rider dealer Juan Martinez lost his home and the roof on his business, but was renting trucks out of Homestead Air Force Base a week after the storm. Martinez and Ryder relocated many of the base service personnel to their new assignments all over the United States. So the deal has been pretty helpful around the state? Oh yeah, very positive. I mean, that's one thing, if it wasn't for them, because I know we put everybody in a critical situation for Labor Day, yeah. if, we, if, they, if it wasn't for them, we couldn't have done it. There's no way. It I mean, been... everybody pitched in. Every day in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, Thousands of our customers take food to markets and rider trucks. We haul new cars and new boats. We deliver the daily newspapers. Rider takes kids to school and people to work. We move families to new homes and deliver the furniture and appliances that go in them. But there's been no greater display of rider service than rider people helping other rider employees in their greatest hour of need. Hi. Yeah, hanging We're in there. Fine. We're hanging in there. She just can't. We just need a patch job. What can we job. do for you? Where the shingles are. Those staples won't go in there. Oh. Walked in and Ann Bentley hugged me and said, I'll send somebody out to help. And it made me feel a whole lot better. The writer was there for me. There you go. We got most of our stuff out, fortunately, or a lot of it. And uh, it's in storage now and just felt like it was time to help some other people. Where were you at? Where'd you live? In Country Walk. So we got out early. We had some people from Ryder give us a hand uh, early on and uh, made it real quick and efficient to, uh, to save some of our things. So I feel like we need to, I need to return the favor a little bit and there's still a lot of people hurting. So. On behalf of all Ryder employees and their families affected by the storm, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You know, what the Ryder people are doing around the country is absolutely tremendous. I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, you know, being involved with the credit union, uh, you know, they're taking up donations and uh, you know, sending food and clothing and ice and water and supplies and everything that we, we, all the rider people could possibly need. And I'm just absolutely overwhelmed <clears throat> at the support of the other rider people around the country. Uh, it, I, I don't know what to say other than thank you. Thank you, Rod, I love you. <laughs> thank you very much and thank you. They're angels, they're angels. <laughs> Rider's angels, that's your new name, guys.